Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on determining the exact distance from a velocity time graph. Remember, a velocity time graph is effectively the same for your purposes as a speed time graph. So we have the time on the x-axis and we have the speed or the velocity on the y-axis. We want to find the total distance travelled by the vehicle. Now there's one key point here and it's this, that the area under a velocity time or a speed time graph is the distance travelled. And don't worry about why this works. So in order to find the distance travelled under this speed time graph, we just need to find the area of this particular shape here. Now, there's different ways you could find the area of the shape. You could put a line up to here and a line up to here, and then we'll have a rectangle in the middle and two triangles. But can you notice that this shape is a trapezium? We've got this edge here at the top is parallel to this edge at the bottom. And how do we find the area of a trapezium? Well, the area of trapezium is the average of the parallel sides. So if this is A and this is B, it's the average of those two parallel sides, you add them, divide by two, multiplied by the height between them, so this height between them. So we just need to use this area of trapezium formula to work out the area under the graph. So what's A and B? Well, this distance here, this length here, works between 10 and 15 seconds, so that's five, plus B, what's the length at the bottom? Well, this is zero to 20 seconds, so that's the distance, so that's a length of 20 and then we're dividing by 2 and multiplying by the height of this graph which is 5. You can see that height is 5. So if you just put this into your calculator, 25 divided by 2 times by 5, that gives you 62.5 and what's the unit? Well this velocity is in meters per second and the time's in seconds so therefore the distance is going to be in meters to be consistent with that unit of speed that we're using.